Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for April 24th. April 24th is the 114th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 115th in leap years, with 251 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is luminous. Luminous is an adjective that means emitting or reflecting, usually steady, suffused light or glowing light, such as a luminous object in space, bathed in or exposed to steady light, clear or enlightening, such as a luminous explanation, (laughs) shining or illustrious, such as a luminous film star. The word luminous comes to us from Middle English, Latin before that, First known use of the word luminous is in the 1400s. Luminous. And with that, the Woolworth Building, a skyscraper in New York City, was opened on April 24, 1913. It still stands and is located at 233 Broadway in Manhattan. This early American skyscraper was designed in the neo-Gothic style by an architect named Cass Gilbert who also designed the Alexander Hamilton U.S. Custom House in New York City, the United States Supreme Court Building in Washington, D.C., the state capitals of Minnesota, Arkansas, and West Virginia, the Detroit Public Library, and the St. Louis Art Museum and Public Library. It was the tallest building in the world from 1913 to 1930, from the time it went up until the construction of 40 Wall Street and the Chrysler Building were completed, both of these in 1930 and both in New York City. Even so, the Woolworth Building is still one of the 100 tallest buildings in the United States. Sometimes we joke about a place being so big that it has its own zip code, but the Woolworth Building has its own zip code. It's 10279 if you're curious. It's one of over 40 buildings in Manhattan that have their own zip codes. The Woolworth Building has been a National Historic Landmark since 1966 and a New York City designated landmark since 1983. The Woolworth Building. The Hubble Space Telescope, also known as HST or simply Hubble, was launched into low Earth orbit from the Space Shuttle Discovery on April 24, 1990. Named after astronomer Edwin Hubble, this visible light telescope wasn't the first space telescope, but it was the largest and most versatile. The Hubble was designed to be maintained in space by astronaut, and it's a good thing they did that because once deployed, they discovered that the main mirror had been ground incorrectly, which caused imaging to be wonky. But they were able to correct this in a servicing mission later on. The Hubble Space Telescope has provided a lot of information and is still in service today, these 34 years later. Back in 2021, I did a live episode for April 24th, and in that episode we talked about the word specsishness, William of Orange, the Library of Congress, the Woolworth Building, Justin Wilson, Richard M. Daly, Barbara Streisand, Vladimir Kamarov, and Soyuz 1, and the Hubble Space Telescope. And I'll leave a link to that episode in case you'd like to see it. Today's song is Game of Love by Wayne Fontana and the Mindbenders. This one was written by songwriter Clint Ballard Jr., who also wrote the number one hit You're No Good by Linda Ronstadt. The Mindbenders were an English beat group from Manchester, England. They started out as the backing group for Wayne Fontana in 1963, released Game of Love in January of 1965, and here it is, number one on the Billboard Hot 100 on April 24, 1965. Game of Love by Wayne Fontana and the Mindbenders. Link in the description. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that's called No Really. You can also find me on Rumble, a bit shoot, and Odyssey. All those links in that description. 
All righty. That's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. This is the birthday. I didn't get that. Could you try again? I wasn't talking to you. And from the life is what happens when you make other plans department. More than on. Did you really? Okay, hold on. I forgot to tell it. Do not disturb. <laughs> okay, we're going to do that one again. Oh, where's your microphone? You're here with me live this morning as I stumble through. <laughs> I thought I was ready to go, and my apologies for the for the hiccups and the baubles. <laughs> See, that's all stuff that gets edited out in the edited versions. <laughs> well, I have a lot to edit today. Cacophony is a sound. <laughs> Cacophony is a noun that you got to read it the right way. Don't alienate people who can be helpful to you. Flinging happiness all over the place. All right, back to work. I think we got it this time.